Hey guys, Chris once again, welcome back to another, I guess, and chill with me video, and this time, I'm going to talk about some stuff that's been going on in my life, some stuff that I am not proud of, some stuff I am proud of. Firstly, um, I, I'm sorry if I have um, if I've been, um, lacking uploads or lacking, um, like, like, full energy, full, you know, um, like going all crazy and all hyper. It's mainly because I haven't been getting sleep. It's just I've been um, dealing with some personal issues with my family. Um, some actual very serious stuff. And it's, it's been hard. My friend actually messaged me and she wants me to talk to my friend Teddy which I haven't talked to him in years because the last time he talked to me he absolutely ridiculed me, ridiculed my love for stuffed animals ridiculed me about um um about my about that, my Tourette's, my autism and my depression and my um anxiety like, what are you so anxious about, man? Why do you so... Why do you carry around those stupid stuffed animals? I mean, he's, I'm, I, I have some, I've had some horrible shit said, said to my face by him, man. I mean, it's because my stuffed animals bring me comfort. When I have these, they're not just a... I mean, they're not childish to me. They are... These are the things that help me cope through my pain, cope through my depression and my anxiety. I take these out with me for me. I'm not asking for anybody's attention. Oh, you should throw them away. I'm like, fuck you. I love my stuffed animals. I don't care what you say. You, nothing you can say can make me throw these things, throw these away. Plus, they are expensive as hell. Leave me and my and my plushies alone. Fuck. You. Leave them there. It's just he's been really making me feel bad for myself. So I bought them on Facebook, but he keeps making fake accounts, and he gets friending me after friend after Facebook. I mean, it's been horrible. He's been horrible to me. And I don't deserve that. I mean, he and one time he Facetimed me just so he could ridicule me again. I mean, seriously, the one thing that makes me happy and I'm being ridiculed about it, that's not a true friend. He used to be my friend in school, like, years ago, but now he's turned some kind of slimy asshole. So, yeah, I just cut him out of my life. Also, he made fun of my fun of my shirts, the way I dress. Made fun of the fact that I don't brush my hair in some videos. I'm like, well, sometimes my hair looks terrible, but it doesn't mean you have to make fun of me for it. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, people think that taking stuff animals out there with them is immature. It's not. As long as you're you know, making yourself look feel good, making yourself happy, and it's not hurting anybody else. And who gives a shit? Seriously, who gives a fucking shit? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me spend time with my mom. I love going out with my mom and my brother Patrick. Who I got him a um a Megan plushie, just like the one I have, and he has been the happiest little guy since he got that. See, that's called being a good brother. You know, something that I don't get in return. I guess I've sent to me, but sometimes it's hard. But if you are um, struggling with, I'm, I mean, I'm struggling, I'm also struggling with anxiety. That's one reason I take stuff with me is because I can take a piece of my house with me. That way I wouldn't feel so lonely. But yeah, it's basically the whole entire negative 
negativity of that. Leave me alone, Teddy. Uh, teddy Bear, Teddy Ramsey, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. It's, it's been a journey. Plus, he's been. He FaceTimes me at 4 o'clock in the morning when I'm sleeping. Saying, I'm dying. I'm in the hospital. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to get some sleep. Call me in the morning. Call me tomorrow. I'm trying to sleep. I mean, even when we, when we were friends, he used to. Do the pointing thing that I mean the thing I don't like people putting their fingers in front of my face. I hate being touched. Period. Ever since my stepdad touched me, like hit me when I was a child, I have always hated physical touching, specifically towards of, of men. I've always hated that. And I still hate that. Like don't. Okay, we're about to fight right now. Okay, leave me alone. Don't touch me, and we good. Um, but seriously, it's just I, I I'm thinking I'm seriously about putting my Facebook to private since so he won't access to it. I mean, I got lots of other friends that'll help me, a lot of friends that love me, but he used to be one of them, but he is no longer one of those people. He is an absolute scumbag of a person. He's an absolute skunk bag. It's just been a journey. And, and my friend Courtney, I guess my friend, um, texted me. She said, "Can you talk to Teddy for me?" I'm like, no. He treats me like shit. He makes fun of my dolls. He makes fun of me. He he sits on me for no reason. No, I'm not talking to him for you. Plus, um, yeah. Cause I want to talk about the the good stuff in my life. I've been I've been doing good with my, um. My depression and my I know I, I struggle with depression and anxiety, but there are days where I struggle with it, there are days where I'm fine with it. Today I've been fine with it. I mean it's been a journey. But you know, I got my mom with me, I got my brothers, Patrick and Austin. They're great, great brothers, especially Patrick, he loves me to death. Um, Austin, he's struggling, but he still gets time for me. I mean, we're all happy. It's just, I'm shut. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just covered with um, all the shit going on with Teddy, with my stepdad, with my dickheaded uncle. I mean, it's just, it's a lot to deal with. But I try my best to deal with it. And whenever I'm feeling sad, or whenever they're fight, or after fighting, or whenever I, I hear yelling and bitching, fighting, I cling on to Megan, or Wednesday, one of my plushies. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I know I've been saying, talking about this for the past few videos, but I genuinely want to get my tr my true opinions out there. I mean, we all have something to help us cope, and mine happens to be stuffed animals. Nothing wrong with that. Call me a softie all you want. I don't care. I mean, as long as it makes me happy and not hurting anybody, then why would it take that away from me? Yeah. Don't take it away from me. I'm going to change my mind, but... Yeah. Um, our dog Star and our cat, our cat Missy, she, I'm feeling bad for her. She's ripping her hair out of her back and she's biting her skin. Stars, there's pus flicking from her, from her privates. And it's been a journey of it. It's been, a, it's, it's been, it's been a sad um, past few days, but they go to bed tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll figure out what ha what's wrong with them. But if they have to be put down, man, I'm gonna be ho holding on to Megan and Wednesday like like it's nobody's fucking business. But yeah, that's basically what I want to tell you guys. That's what's been my my life update. That's why I haven't been so happy lately. It's just been a journey. It's been a painful journey. But hope you understand.
And yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. See you on the next video. Peace.